I'm not comfortable with this. He didn't hear me, or maybe he was too busy to respond. We were on a scene flight on a rainy Sunday morning. We were only a short distance from the scene when we ran into weather. Four on, hey, Kenny, go ahead. Hey, Kenny, go ahead. We knew that this was a possibility when we left, so we had a flight plan on file in case we needed it. We could have turned around, or at the least, spent more time preparing the autopilot before committing to the clouds. I don't like how this is going. Maybe he was too busy to hear me. We were in the clouds. He was messing with the autopilot. I heard him try to call ATC again and again. No answer. We were climbing. My eyes darted from gauge to gauge. Were we still flying straight? There was no way to tell by looking outside. I could barely see the tips of the rotor blades. A vibration. Either the HSI was broken or the aircraft was almost completely upside down. The vibration got worse as I felt the aircraft speed increase. The vertical speed indicator was pegged at minus 4,000 feet per minute. We were going down. I watched the altimeter spin. We were about to crash. As we broke out of the clouds, the only thing we could see out at the front of the aircraft was the green grass of a field. I closed my eyes for what I thought would be the last time, and I braced for impact. My family, my kids, late night science projects I won't be there to help with, taking my daughter to hockey games, cartoons and pancakes on the weekends. How would they respond to another death in such a short time? Only seven months earlier, we lost my mom to cancer. I couldn't move. My back and both legs were broken, but I was alive. I had several surgeries, months of rehab, I had Thanksgiving dinner in a hospital bed in my living room at home. I spent months reliving the crash in my head over and over again. What went wrong? Could this have been prevented? It's June 2013. I get to hear this sound again. I buckle my belt. A month later, we're approaching fog at night. Turn around. This time I say it louder than before, like I mean it. There would be no mistake. The pilot climbs and makes a 180 degree turn. I'm not missing any holidays this year.